friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we're going to learn about the wettest animals on the planet. Presenting the fish. In almost all the places where you can find water, be it either salt water or fresh water, you can also find fish. There are fish of all sorts of sizes, shapes and colors, and yet they all have common characteristics, which you should know. Fish are vertebrates. Their skeleton is made up of bones or cartilage. They are also cold-blooded. Their temperature is not constant, meaning it depends on the water temperature. This fish looks really cold. All fish have extremities in the form of fins, as you can see in this image. Dorsal fins, caudal fins, which is the tail, pectoral fins, pelvic fins, and anal fin. Another really important fact that one must remember is that almost all fish are covered in scales. The gills are the fish's respiratory organ. The respiration process is very interesting. Water enters through the mouth and goes to the gills. The gills then collect the oxygen and distribute it to the rest of the body through the blood vessels. Then the water is expelled through an opening which can be found in the majority of the fish behind their head, which is called the gill flap. Fish reproduce by laying eggs. Therefore, they are oviparous, and their fertilization can be either external or internal. Some fish are excellent fathers, like this one who protects his babies inside his mouth. He looks as if he's going to eat them, but he's actually protecting them. Look at that! Isn't it amazing? Almost all fish are carnivores, eating other fish smaller than themselves, and therefore they each have different ways of defending themselves. The most common action to take is when feeling threatened is to escape as fast as possible, as in to swim away rapidly. But there are other ways of defending themselves that are much more original. For example, this clownfish finds hiding himself among these venomous enemies. Others imitate or camouflage themselves with their background by obtaining the color and shape of the plants and rocks around them. Can you see this fish in the image? Oh. Well, there was indeed a fish, and a very hungry one. Look at this. This is the largest fish in the world, the whale shark. Even though it is called a whale shark, you must remember it is actually a shark, not a whale. Whales are not fish. They are aquatic animals, like these friendly dolphins. So never forget, whales and dolphins are not fish, but... Mammals. Now I have a very important fact you must always remember. It's extremely important. As you already know, fish, as well as many other animals, live in the water. Water is essential for life. And for this reason, we must look after it. We must protect it. There are people who dirty nature by throwing rubbish into the rivers and oceans without thinking about their terrible consequences they're causing. Plastics and substances which contaminate the water kill a huge amount of fish. Turtles, dolphins, whales, sharks, and many more die every day because of contamination. Water is a source of life. We must take care of it and protect it. So now you know. Look after nature and all living things, and they can live happily. Goodbye, friends. Until next happy learning video. Great! You've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. Hello, friends. Welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, 
we're going to learn about one of the most famous and scary fish. Let's introduce you to the shark. First thing we should know about sharks is that they are fish, and like all fish, they have gills that allow them to breathe underwater. The body of the fish is covered with scales, and in the case of the sharks, their scales are so hard and rough that in older times their skin was used as sandpaper. There are so many types of sharks, almost 400. Some are as small as 50. Centimeters. They're as small as a mobile phone. And others, such as the whale shark, can reach up to 14 meters long. They are longer than many of the lorries that can be seen on the roads. There are also sharks with somewhat bizarre bodies, like these hammerhead sharks. Sharks are carnivores and are characterized by being very good hunters. They use their excellent sense of smell and their strong jaws full of razor sharp and pointed teeth to hunt. Because they use them so much, their teeth tend to fall out very easily. But it's not a problem for them because they grow back very easily. During their lifetime, they can have as many as 30,000 teeth. That's just incredible. Another interesting fact about sharks is that they can go without eating for six weeks roughly a month and a half. That's why sometimes they are so hungry. Sharks are cartilaginous fish, which means their skeleton is made of cartilage instead of bone. The most famous of all sharks is undoubtedly the great white shark. The great white lives in warm waters and can weigh from 700 up to 1,100 kilos. Its body is large and robust. It's a little scary, isn't it? The whale shark is the largest of all, not only of the shark family, but also of all the fish that live in the sea. It weighs 20 tons, around 20,000 kilos. It also has a high life expectancy living between 70 and 100 years. Well, that's if we let them live in peace. Did you know that sharks are in serious danger of extinction? There are many species of sharks that are on the brink of extinction, and that puts all the oceans of the planet at risk. In order to be healthy, the oceans and seas need to have enough sharks to maintain the balance of populations between different species. Without this balance, we don't know what will happen, but nothing good, that's for sure. That's why we have to take care of them. We mustn't throw garbage and plastics into the sea, and we have to always protect nature, picking up anything that can harm it. Because if we defend nature, we defend all life and living beings, including ourselves. Well, you have already learned some important things about these wonderful fish, the sharks. Aren't they just fascinating animals? Goodbye, friends. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.